गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर कमिंग टू रेवेन्यू रिसिप्ट आई फील द रेलवेज कैन अर्न ए सीजेबल रेवेन्यू इफ दे टोन अप एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कट डाउन वेस्टफुल एक्सपेंडिचर रिपेयर वैगन्स एंड कोचेस इन टाइम to increase their life span which would save huge expenditure otherwise these wagons and coaches would be disposed of as scrap iron i suggest more sheds and more repair work shops are to be established and timely repair work is to be taken up the railways should also control thousands of ticketless travelers and revenue can also increase by checking damage to railway property wagon breaking and theft by antisocial elements for which huge compensation is being paid by them vast land adjoining railway lines has been illegally occupied and if this land can be reoccupied and can be properly utilized then the railway will be able to earn more revenue indian railways received a world bank loan of 400 million dollars besides the railways have received 190 million dollars as loan for the asian development bank for local procurement and for importing new technologies and the exim bank of japan co-financed the loan with 100 million dollar credit nothing has been stated about this loan as to how it was utilized and this fund should have accountability at least to the members of this august house and the railways should work vigorously to promote tourism by providing a mode of transportation which is not only economical but has a special fascination for the tourists for this purpose the honorable minister will have to work in consultation with the minister of civil aviation and also the states and this will help the railways to earn more revenue i understand the indian railways are a founder member of ascap that is economic and social commission of asia and the pacific since the indian railways enjoy international cooperation i would like to know whether this relation has further improved so as to receive more funds from them for overall development of the railways and also for the technological upgradation modernization of the railway system and also whether any exchange program for technical assistance has been formulated as this would considerably help the indian railways to improve the existing infrastructure the technological upgradation of the network upgradation of the communication network and computer based freight operation system and more computerization of passenger reservations in metropolitan towns i believe funds that would be available through international cooperation may be utilized for improvement purposes and for increasing revenue and it would not be necessary to hike passenger fares and freight charges as proposed in the budget in the annual report and accounts 1988-89 of the indian railways detailed formation on research and 
development has been given on pages 34 to 38 it has been mentioned that the research design and standard organization functions as advisor and consultant to help the indian railways in all technical matters scientists technologists educationists and senior executives are in this body i would like to suggest that in this regard that is in technical matters and in connection with the technical improvement and technological upgradation the indian railways should work for research and development in collaboration with iits universities and national metallurgical laboratories and other national laboratories under the council of scientific and industrial research more research and development centers need be opened for which there should be provision in the budget it should provide funds for further technological developments now madam coming to the question of railway safety i regret to point out that we have not been able as yet to completely eliminate railway accidents or even to substantially reduce them only a few days back the railway minister made a statement regarding a serious accident involving the dehradun bombay central express which took place on the 14th of this month to my mind the possibilities of rail accidents can be substantially brought down by an all round vigilance of the operation staff and by enhancing operational efficiency i do not know if it is possible to evolve some sort of full proof arrangement whereby a train moving on the line can receive back positive signal through ultrasonic system about the existence of another moving train from the opposite direction such ultrasonic systems are used by navigators in order to protect their ships against accidents with iceberg can similar signaling system not be used in trains also so that accidents can be avoided the honorable minister has mentioned about passenger amenities at present the long distance passengers even in super fast trains do not get reasonable comforts during their journey many unauthorized passengers from the intermediate stations without any reservation forcibly get into reserved compartments and disturb the bona fide passengers and more often the railway staff are unable to provide any relief this is very unfair and should be put an end to especially now when there is a steep increase in the railway fares the railway minister should look into the comforts of passengers i would also like to mention that the passengers should get amenities like having pure drinking water good food and some entertainment i have observed in foreign countries that there are film shows or some such entertainment for long distance passengers i think there should be some arrangements for entertainment here also in the near future i don't want to take much time of the house and i think there should be some improvement in the railway catering service and also some sort of relief must be there for the long distance passengers reservation should be properly done while concluding madam i would like to say that the railway staff should be given more amenities like housing medicare and education so that 
दे कैन लिव कम्फर्टेबली एज दे आर रेंडरिंग ग्रेट सर्विस टू द नेशन विद दिज वर्ड्स मैडम आई कंक्लूड एंड आई थैंक यू वंस अगेन फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन दिस मैटर